Back from a very long walk, I'm going to share some things with you about signs, symbols, what they mean, and how they relate to you because there's a big difference between just signs and signs for you. We're going to talk about that because a lot of these are going to start showing up, but not if you're not paying attention. Let me share my viewpoint on signs and some things that I just experienced that I think you're going to love. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Ancon YouTube, raising the frequency of the planet, one light being at a time, and helping you to break through the fear. Break through it, through it, it's there. Okay, dark woods, I don't have to be scared, I just walk through the woods, I know it's on the other side, that's all it is. You create all this stuff, so when, and this relates to our conversation today, uh, I'll hoot you, ooh, ooh, oh, crackle in the, in the woods, it's just a little animal. <gasps> Somebody's in there. So you create these stories because you're already in a state of fear. And then, of course, in your head, it's real. That's how it works. You're totally in control of that. Nobody makes you do that. Nobody's doing anything to you. You can change the planet. Now, what's going to happen to you personally uh, as we transition into more changes, more things to come? Don't be afraid. It's all good. It's all taking us into a new space, but not if you go into fear because your personal experience will then change. Mine will be one of celebration, transformation. Opportunities are cray cray right now and they're going to continue to expand. But if you are in the closet hiding and oh, what's out there, it's not going to happen for you. If you're in the closet, you can't see the signs. Now, I just went for a walk. Actually, uh, I'll, I'll share this with you because, you know, whether I believe that I individually am causing certain things to happen or not, I don't really have an opinion on that because I don't need to. You're going to go into a state at some point where you just don't need the answers. You just know what you're putting out and you see results. And it's probably an accumulation of you and other people who have the same prayers uh, or positive messages they're sending in. So we have what's called red tide here. Red tide is a man-made, it sounds real natural, oh, we have red tide. No, it is companies dumping garbage into the bays here in Florida. It's happening all over the world. In the United States, it's not even as bad as some other countries, but all of it's not good. And of course, we're killing fish. Millions of fish were dying. So I decided, as I do in a miracle circle, and this is what you can do, I decided that instead of, you know, being upset or frustrated or whatever, which is what we usually do as humans, how can I make a difference with this? And I realized the, if, you, if you've studied any, Greg Braden is one, he's really great. If you've studied any healing, you know that the key to healing is not to see the person sick, is to see the person well. So the person, that probability exists. So what you do is you don't see the illness, you see the perfect healed light being. That's what so many healers do that are super successful. Christ saw that. He saw them as perfect. And so therefore, through their desire to transition into that, it happened. You can't make somebody else go into that. So once again, you can send your energy, but it has to cooperate too because we have free will, and that includes everything on the planet. So I decided that I was going to see our bay and ocean out here as sparkling and pure and beautiful. I saw the waters crystal clear and I saw actually beautiful light flowing in and out of it. I saw it as beautiful and perfect and I saw dolphins and I saw fish happy and I saw all of this beautiful water as perfect. Now the smell of dead fish is so horrendous I couldn't even walk across the Bay Bridge here because it was so bad. I had to go for a walk here on land. So I came home and I decided, well, if I'm really going to make a change, I have to see everything is perfect because we really are. And so I sent that love and that perfection out constantly all day. The next morning, it started pouring here, torrential rains for, th this is part of my message to you, 
for three days. Three days. At the end of three days, of course, what happened? We had a little bit of flooding here. The, the bays and the ocean, everything had tons of wa new water in it. New water, cleansing water in it. And I just took a walk, and guess what? No smell. Now, I saw, okay, three days of rain. I saw three dolphins all playing and jumping out. People have told me that they have been here for months and have not seen any dolphins here in this Bay Area. I know they're in other places. Three dolphins jumping and playing, and I got to see them. And a gentleman that was on the bridge with me said, oh my gosh, do you know how unique it is to see that? He said, I've been here months and I've never seen one. He said, that's a big deal. I said, wow, that's really cool. All right, so I saw, I saw that. It was a couple days ago. I saw three birds flying. I've been seeing threes and threes and threes. I don't know what it means. You could say it's the trilogy. I don't know. I can't have. I don't have all those answers. I don't need them. I just am paying attention. Three, three, three has been coming up constantly for me. Usually it's one, one, one. You know that's a angelic number. Three, three, three is coming up a lot constantly. And on my phone, when I looked at my phone this morning, it was 3.33 a.m. On my computer, 3.33 comes up. All right, so I'm paying attention. So I want to share with you that signs are always there when you're connecting to the expansive world. And you will also get other signs of things that remind you to make maybe you know work on some things okay make some corrections in your life uh, like two weeks ago I was w taking a walk and um, I'm like a super healthy person and um, uh, a car there was a, a uh, lawn truck parked with all their equipment I'm here uh, Mercedes pulls right behind that and then I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm just going to keep walking. But then a car came behind me, and I had no place to go. I didn't want to walk in front of the car, and I, there was a truck here, and then the Mercedes was right there. But there was a space between the Mercedes and the truck, just a small one. So I thought, well, I'm in the middle of all these guys. I'm just going to shoot over. I didn't know that the uh, truck had a ramp out. You know those ramps where they pull the equipment off? They roll the equipment off? It was this low, so I couldn't see it. It was black. It was mesh. It looked like asphalt. Well, it hit me right at my ankle, and I went down. I said, roadkill. I went down. <laughs> and and uh, man, I took quite the fall, and a maintenance guy came over. He's like, oh my god, you better go back. You know, you probably really hurt. And I said, no, I feel fine. <laughs> You know, you know, like you could be like <laughs> on the brink of death and you're like, no, I'm fine. It's just a flesh wound. So I went, okay, I'll go back to my apartment. And sure enough, you know, I had to ice some things down. But I wasn't in pain. And I found out later I actually fractured my foot. I have no pain at all. But I did fracture my foot. Here's what I decided. So a lot of people would say, oh, okay, that's a bad sign. Why did that happen to me? I realized at the moment that I made the decision to turn and walk, I was not in the present moment. Uh, I'd say ego came in. You know, there was an entry for ego to, to be a little frustrated with these two people that were blocking me in. And so I was more concerned about that than I was just taking my time and saying, okay, let's assess the situation and make a decision. There was a judgment in there. And it was like, you know, why is this guy blocking me in and why is he sitting there and not backing up so that, you know, I can get through? So I went into the space of lower density. So it was brief, but it was enough for me to react and not pay attention and be in the present moment and safe. Big message. Big message. You're still, when you switch over to that ego state and it takes a split second for you to do something to trip or, you know, whatever it is. It could be 101 things. And that's usually lack of presence. So it was my little reminder that you're perfectly fine. <laughs> a guy saw me the next day. I went for a walk the next day. <laughs> the maintenance guy goes, what are you, a Navy SEAL or something? <laughs> I said, no, what? why? He started laughing. He said, because what I saw, I'm surprised you didn't have a break of some kind. Well, I didn't know I did have a fracture. 
but I was walking around on it anyways. But that was my reminder that you're human and you still have to pay attention. So that was a sign too for me. It was an individual sign for me. Now maybe not everybody's seen three seen three three three. Your personal experience is going to give you your own personal signs and messages. And my three 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 to me is unity. Three is unity. You know, the three is unity. It's um, you know, it's the trilogy, but I I see it as much more than that. You know, when you see three, you know, that's like, we don't get along when there's usually three people. You know, two people sort of get along better and that one's always left out. Animals and the universe doesn't work that way. So when I saw those dolphins and, and everything, I noticed, it was so noticeable that everything was three. And then yesterday I saw a bald eagle. And then today I saw another dolphin. A little beautiful little, he was, he was a, well, not a baby, but he was young came by and he came up and then came right in front of me and I said, wow, beautiful, just beautiful. So a lot of signs happening. Now you could say, well, you're in Florida, that happens anyways, but I've been told that people have not been seeing that because of our condition. And uh, bald eagles, yes, there's a concentration down here, but I don't know anybody that I've met who's seen one, even people who've lived here years, and I did. So what is that? It's my sign. First of all, I'm aware and I'm paying attention. Now, I told you about predictions so I and downloads. If you are blocked and you have thoughts and whatever in your ego state, you're going to trip and fall <laughs> like I did. So if you, if you are in the present moment and you're assessing the situation, you will open yourself up and you'll have no blocks or barriers for those low-density things to happen or for you to block information that's coming down. So I get a lot of downloads because I'm I just go in a state of no thoughts. The only thoughts I have are that that I put into high high level, high frequency content for you. That's what I do all day. That's all I do all day is think of ways to show you how to, you know, move past fear and raise your frequency. So are you seeing signs? I mean that's a lot, right? Did I cause the rain? I don't know, but I do know that uh, Greg Baden, Braden had an experience with one man who did a ritual, and there was an entire drought in their state, and within an hour, it started to rain, and it started pouring and pouring and pouring, and Greg said, like, how do you stop? And he says, we sort of haven't figured that part out. <laughs> he said, we know how to start it. We don't know how to stop it. That's sort of what happened here. So I actually thought, I'm sure whether it was me alone or my contribution, I actually I did contribute to that. Of course I did. It's possible. The Indians, American Indians know this. Many other amazing cultures know this. That it doesn't always take a village because there's always somebody out there that you know is praying for that to, to change. And so if you can see things perfect at all times, like I share with you, see all others perfect, and you can go into a space where all kinds of signs are going to show up. Oh, another thing that happened just happened. So I'm walking back. I have not seen one dragonfly here. No dragonflies. Zero. Okay? Um, a dragonfly showed up and followed me along the path. When I was talking to him, I said, well, hello. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to join me on my walk. And he, just, he or she followed me and it came and went like this. Dragonflies are one of my signs. Now, I had a student, a really very uh, evolved student, said, a ladybug landed on me. What does that mean? I said, it means a ladybug landed on you. Now, if you have consistent things happening or things that are highly unusual or whatever, and then you have more unusual things happening, uh, but just, you know, there's ladybugs out there. They're going to land on you. But if there's something that's, you know, and you're in a place where there are no ladybugs and nobody's ever seen one, you know, and one lands on you, and then maybe a few more, uh, ladybugs are constantly uh, showing up with me. Constantly. It's like, it's crazy. And uh, so ladybugs is one of my signs. And uh, dragonflies have been mine. So uh, nature will definitely start to connect to you because you're one with it and you're in a place of peace and don't put a name or, or on a meaning to you. You don't have to have a meaning. Everybody's like, what does this mean? I said, I don't know. If you look on the internet, guess what? 101 different meanings that don't sound at all alike will show up. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to share that with you because these will be your own individual experiences and signs because of your personal energy field. There are also global signs 
happening. And so we're going to start to see global signs. One of them that's happening that's been huge is that we have not had the massive uh, cataclysmic events that have been predicted in the past. That's a sign that we're raising our frequency. So we are getting signs. The signs are very positive ones. So if there's a negative sign, it's my, my little ninja fall that I did. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Guy in the Mercedes didn't even get out to see if I was okay. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> That must have been a sight, I gotta tell you. And so, <laughs> what you want to do is say, okay, if there's something happening that is of a negative nature, that's the sign that we have to work on that. That's it. That's how it works, all of it. Everything can be your sign of what still has to be worked on. So in your personal life, why does this keep happening to me? That's your sign. You've got to work on it. It's not them. You're doing it. And so this is so powerful. So, like I said, whether it's a number sign or nature or, you know, something like the rains, that was like, I went, wow, that's pretty amazing. It's so beautiful out there right now. And so I'm going to continue to, and I stood on the bridge, and I sent this beautiful light and sparkling, perfect water. I saw it as just absolutely perfect and healthy. And so if you, you can continue to do that. You can do it with your own body. You can do it with other people. But again, it has to receive it. Nature will always receive your higher frequency blessings. Let's start working on that. But we can't throw stuff out there and then try and, you know, fix it. It has to work all the way around, okay? So work on that. And guys, share some signs with me because I don't have those answers, but I can sometimes give you some insight. All right, so uh, I'm going to go take a shower because I'm like, whew, finally stopped sweating. Sorry about that, but I thought this was a lot of fun. So as always, free videos to check out whether or not you're interested in the training to create an online business. It's powerful. You can do amazing things from your home. You can travel wherever you can travel. You can reach audiences all over the globe. Of course, please subscribe. Come on over, join the Miracle Circle, and manifest anything's free. It's down in the description. Click, sign up, and then you can get access to my free mobile app, What Am I Manifesting? That's the name of it, and all kinds of other cool stuff. We have to work on this. It takes a village, and there's a whole you know, collective consciousness that we can take up through our own raising of our own frequency and then you'll get all kinds of cool signs it's a lot of fun share them with me you're whole and perfect strong and powerful loving harmonious and happy blessings namaste